Section 9.4 continued to divide rational expressions. Let's take a look at an example of just dividing fractions, which is going to be very similar to dividing rational expressions. Here, what I would do is bring down my first fraction, which is 3 fourths. I would change my division symbol to multiplication, and then I would find the reciprocal of my second fraction, which would be 8 ninths. As in the previous section, I could either multiply straight across the numerator and denominator, then simplify, or cross simplify. Here, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times, 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice. And when I multiply across the numerator, I get 2. Multiply across the denominator, I get 3. So the process of dividing rational expressions is going to be very, very similar. The process that we want to follow is, one, I want to factor all polynomial expressions. Two, I want to determine restrictions. Three, I'm going to bring down the first fraction and change division symbol to multiplication, then find the reciprocal of the second fraction. And then I want to simplify the rational expression. On my first example, I want to divide these two rational expressions. But the main part of the problem is I want to find the restrictions. This is a little bit different. Here I have the problem 3a divided by 6b over 5a. I can rewrite that as 3 over a, or 3 divided by a, over 6b over 5a, or this entire fraction divided by that entire fraction. My restrictions are going to come from each one of these expressions. For example, if this a is 0, I could state 3 divided by 0 is undefined. Therefore, a could not be equal to 0. If I have 6b equal to 0, 0 divided by 5a is 0, and then I would have this value being undefined, or 3a divided by 0 would be undefined. Therefore, b cannot be 0. And of course, if I have 0 here, that would make the denominator of the bottom fraction 0, which would make everything undefined. Therefore, again, a cannot equal 0. I don't have to rewrite it. I just already have it there. So I, my two restrictions are A can't equal 0 and B can't equal 0. So I need to find my restrictions from these expressions in the problem. Now let's go ahead and simplify this problem. I've already stated that A cannot equal 0 and B cannot equal 0. Again, 3 divided by 0 would give me an undefined rational expression. 6b divided by 0 would be undefined. And if this was 0, 0 divided by 5a is 0. And that fraction divided by 0, again, is undefined. So again, my two restrictions. So I want to continue by bringing down my first fraction, which would be 3 over a, changing my division symbol to multiplication, and finding the reciprocal of the other rational expression, which would be 5a over 6b. Now I just want to simplify. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 6 twice. a goes into a once. a goes into a once. And that gives me 1 times 5 times 1, which would give me 5 in the numerator. And 1 times 2 is 2 times b, 5 over 2b. On this example, I want to divide and state any restrictions. On my second expression, I have a b squared. I need to put that over 1. Now I have a rational expression divided by another rational expression. I need to find my restrictions. And again, I need to determine values that would make these three expression zero. And those would be a cannot equal zero. That would make this undefined. And also b cannot equal zero. If a was zero here, that would make this zero, which would make 
this fraction divided by that, which would be zero, undefined. And also, we already have a can equal zero. So these are my restrictions. Now I need to determine the value when I divide the two rational expressions. So I have a squared b over 2a when I bring down the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and find the reciprocal, which would be 1 over a b squared. Sometimes it's easier just to multiply across when I have just variables. So that would give me a squared b over 2 a squared b squared. And when I simplify, I still have 1 over 2. The a squared over a squared will cancel. And b over b squared leaves me a b in the denominator. Therefore, when I simplify, I'll have 1 over 2b. In this example, recall from a previous slide, I need to factor all my polynomial expressions first. And then I can determine my restrictions. And then I can simplify the problem. So here I'm going to have 3x squared over. And here I have different squares. And I know that will factor into y plus 4 and y minus 4 divided by, in the numerator, I can factor out a GCF of 3x. And when I do that, that will leave me y plus 2. And in my denominator, when I factor, I'm going to have y and y. And that will be plus 4 plus 2. Recall my restrictions will come from these three polynomials. Therefore, my restrictions will be y plus 4 equals 0, or y cannot equal a negative 4 when I solve that. y minus 4 equals 0, and when I solve that, that'll be y cannot equal 4. Again, y plus 4 equals 0. y cannot equal a negative 4. I already have that. y plus 2 equals 0. When I solve that, y cannot equal a negative 2. And in the numerator, I have y plus 2 again equal to 0. When I solve that, y can't equal a negative 2. But also, I have x can't equal 0. If x was 0, I'd have 0 in the numerator, 0 divided by Anything in the denominator would give me 0. And then this expression divided by 0 would become undefined. So these are my restrictions. Now I can simplify. And when I do, I'll just cancel y plus 2 and y plus 2. And that's about it. So now I'll just multiply across the numerator, which is going to be 9 x cubed over y plus 4 times y plus 4 times y minus 4. I can simplify further. And when I do, my solution will be 9x cubed over, and I can rewrite this as a quantity that is squared, so it'll be y plus 4 squared times y minus 4. Here I want to begin by factoring again each polynomial. And on the numerator, I'm going to factor out a 5. That will give me x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x and x. And that will be minus 5 minus 1. And here I'll have divided by 2x and x. And that will be a plus 1 plus 3. And over 2x 
and 2x, and that will be a minus 5 plus 1. And now I need to factor again. This expression gives me 5 times x and x plus 3 minus 1, and then rewrite each expression. x minus 5, x minus 1, and here, let's take a shortcut. I'll change that to multiplication, find the reciprocal, which is going to be 2x minus 5, 2x plus 1, over 2x plus 1, and 2x plus 3. I still need to find my restrictions, and they will come from that expression, that expression, and that expression. x minus 5 equals 0, so x can't equal 5. x minus 1 equals 0, x can't equal 1. 2x minus 5 equals 0, x can't equal a positive 5 halves. 2x plus 1 equals 0 is going to be x can't equal a negative half. And the numerator, 2x plus 1 equals 0, again, is going to be x equal to a negative half. And x plus 3 equals 0, x can't equal a negative 3. So now I have my restrictions. Now I need to cancel some values or expressions out in my problem. Since I've already converted and found the reciprocal, x minus 1 will cancel. x plus 3 will cancel. Here I have 2x plus 1 will cancel. And then I'm left with 5 times 2x minus 5 over x minus 5. My simplified rational expression with my restrictions. This problem is the same as our previous problems, but just written a little bit differently. So let's rewrite it in the fashion that we're used to. So my top fraction, x squared minus 9 over x squared minus 2x minus 24 divided by, and that is my division bar, divided by, and then my bottom rational expression, which is x minus 3, over x minus 6. Now I follow the usual procedures, which is the factor, x plus 3, x minus 3, my difference of squares, and here I'm going to have x minus 6 and x plus 4. Change my division symbol to multiplication and find the reciprocal, which is going to be x minus 6 over x minus 3. Now I can find my restrictions on these expressions. So here, x minus 6 equals 0, x can't equal 6, x, x plus 4 equals 0, x can't equal a negative 4, x minus 3 equals 0, x can't equal 3, and x minus 6 can't equal 0, so x can't equal 6, but I already have that. So here are my restrictions. Now I just cross out the like expressions in the numerator and denominator x minus 6, x minus 6, x minus 3, x minus 3, and I'm left with x plus 3 over x plus 4. Here I want to simplify and state the restrictions. Let's simplify first. I know that this is going to be a division. So this will be 24x to the negative 3y squared over negative 3x to the fourth y to the negative 1. I'm going to simplify. 24 divided by a negative 3 is going to be a negative 8 in the numerator. 
I write the bases, the like bases in the numerator. So x is going to be written in the numerator. That's the top exponent minus the bottom exponent of the like base. So it's a negative 3 minus 4. And y is a like base, top exponent, which is 2, minus a negative 1. Then I simplify a negative 8 x to the negative 7 y cubed. And when I simplify again, my last answer is going to be a negative 8 y cubed over x to the 7. Now I want to find the restriction, so let's take a look at our original expression. Here I know that x can't equal 0, because if it does, my denominator would be 0, which would make the expression undefined. But y is really not in the denominator because of the negative exponent. That really means it needs to move up. So the only variable that should be in the denominator is x to the fourth. And that gives me my restriction. x can't equal 0. And my last example is going to be when I factor in the numerator. I'm going to factor out a 3. That's going to give me x plus 4. And since this quantity has a negative 1 to the uh, negative 1 power, I'm going to move that entire expression to the numerator, which will give me x minus 3 to the first power, positive first power, but I don't need to show it. And in the denominator, I will find the factored form of this expression, which is going to be x minus 3, x minus 3. My restrictions are going to be x minus 3 can't equal 0, and that will mean x can't equal 3. My only restriction, now I simplify, x minus 3's cancel, gives me 3 times x plus 4 over x minus 3.